Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about the Splunk visualizations. So basically we are going to create dashboards and create charts and insert them in those dashboards so it can help us easily visualize what's happening in our network or infrastructure overall and uh, what kind of events it's more important to us we'll create for them um, that dashboards so we can like visually identify this without need to go and use queries to extract certain data to understand what's happening in the ecosystem so like in this particular lab we are tasked to create the dashboards and um, create some charts based on certain events uh, that they provide to us so the first event is um, first of all we need to create a dashboard like uh, that's gonna be our main dashboard that we can see in here whenever we log in so to do so we need to go to the search and report and here is the dashboard and we'll create a new dashboard and in the their test it tells to create a dashboard named SAC dashboard in the private with the private permissions so basically now we got the dashboard created and now we'll need to create charts and insert this data into these dashboards so let's go next um, now we are going to create um, a chart uh, like it's gonna be based on the query for a brute force so basically we are going to extract a field we are going to extract uh, a query that is looking for the failed brute force attack and uh, we'll save it this chart as a pie chart uh, and we'll look for um, the IPs that that uh, are triggered as brute forcing our um, server so the source type we are going to use authentication we are looking for the failed uh, inside the event so look for anything that says failed so based on what we've got one or two events and we can see we have different IP addresses so like to extract based on the, the count events uh, count events per different IPs we'll need to have um, a field and the field it should be the source IP and we can see here we don't have this and based on the instruction we can use this regular expression which will look for this uh, source IPs and extract this or we can just go and extract this field ourselves if we don't know the, uh, reg um, the regular expression that we need to use so basically you can use the regular expression or you can go and extract this field yourself and for do so we need um, to choose like a sample that we're gonna use and then we'll choose the method that we want to look uh, in those into the sample based on regular expression and then we'll give it the selected fields that we want to extract and we want to extract this particular IP and this is the source IP of the attacker or attackers because there is multiple IPs so we'll extract this particular feed we'll validate validated means that we look to make sure that like what we want to extract is correct safe if not we need to adjust in here and uh, like train this AI to extract this particular field and we'll save this and now we have an extracted field and if we go back to our query and authentication failed so now we can use the top command which will um, extract the top 10 most uh, whatever we'll give it based on the field so like in our case we want to extract on the source IP so who is brute forcing our network so we have extracted this field and now we can use it in our query so we can see we have four different IPs that are brute forcing our networks 
And if you wanted to use the regular expression like they provided in here, then you will do the same. You will have to copy this um, regular expression and the rex is for regular expression. You will give it this regular expression and then you will top it based on IP and you'll get the same results. Just the count will change because that's a real time brute forcing attack. So the events will keep changing on stop. So now we have that source, um, the query, and now we want to save this query as a, like a visualization, right? So here is that visualization and we can choose what, um, which type of chart we want. And we want in this scenario, like they provide us and they want to see it based on, um, uh, based on a uh, pie chart. So this is the pie chart that we can save to our dashboard panel. And we create already a dashboard panel. So we choose existing one and find our, the SAC dashboard that we've created. And we want to call this panel um, panel they want to call it failed SSH logins so failed SSH logins and save it so now we have it in our dashboard and let's go answer a couple of questions and extract the field and what's the IP so like now we can see which one is the the most counts you can see if you hover over them you can get the counts and percentage of the total counts of events so this is the most one 45 percent 69 counts and the ip is 10 55 55 55 so that's how we create a pie chart dashboard and now we are tasked to create a single value panel so um, we can see the count by um, number only. And in this scenario, they want us to use the error logs. So we want to see how many errors we have in the logs. So for this, we are going to choose another source type, which is the error log for that particular server. And we'll have all this uh, errors coming here and we can uh, we can look at uh, what they asking us in here someone is trying to access a certain file and this was the PHP warning so what is the name of this file according to the error log so if you look at our uh, logs the events the PHP warning it says include once and it's looking for the root secret txt so somebody is trying to access this file so for our search we are going to use this particular include once as um, extra field and if you click on it twice and you can add it to the search and now we will look for any, like it is gonna include it once and it's gonna look for this particular error. And they want us to create a single value panel for the recent errors. So we'll use the same, the visualization tab in here. And, and right now, because we are don't have like multiple uh, events, we just have the counts uh, we can um, use the pivot to visualize and we'll use uh, which fields would you like to use as a data model so we'll use all the fields that we have and based on what they ask us they want us to create a single value panel so the single value panel if you hover over you'll see the details about what type of charts are here and this is the single value panel and we can save it to our dashboard panel. And it's the one that we've created before. And the name is recent errors. And mod, model type is the same. So 
So now we add a new chart to our dashboard. And the last one that we can create, I mean, there is different ways you can visualize some data. So it depends what, what you need to visualize. It will, it will make sense to choose different type. And like in this, the last um, task, they want us to create um, like a bar chart and we want to extract the fields based on the regular expression for the user agent. So we want to get all the user agents from the access log, like what user agent was been used. And to do so, we'll use the particular source type for the access logs. And as shown before, like this is that user agent. So we want to extract all of them and see it by count. And to do so, we need first Add this user agent field here because so more feels like we don't have user agent here see so what we need to do we need to extract a new user agent and we'll do the same as we've done on the first task so we'll choose a sample and select method we want to look with using regular expression and we need to give it a sample what we look for to extract. And that's the field we want to extract. And click on it, you'll, you can name it. So user agent. And now we need to validate. We need to check if, if the, the AI or the learning machine, machine learning is using the proper way to identify our Field that we want to extract because sometimes it can give you a different error so you need to come in and uh, adjust it so you don't have errors so we validated save it and finish so now we got this extra field created and now we can use this extra field to get that query that they ask us and then use it for far for visualization so now we are going to create a query for the access logs based on the user agents user agent we create that field so now we got the counts of those user agents and now we can visualize and let me see what which is the most popular user agent. so we can see we can have by the counts how many user agents was accessed used and then you can use the visualization tab and come and choose to visualize visualize in different um, charts in this particular it asks us for the bar chart and call it top user agents so we'll save this bar chart and Add it to our existing dashboard, top user agents, and save. So now you can see we have three different fields, queries that we've used to extract data and we visualize it. And now this is ongoing real time data is gonna be coming into like remember there was like 90 something when we just made this um particular field extraction now we got 141 the brute force attacks from this particular ip so basically this is the visualization how we can create dashboards and how it can help us as a security operation center analyst to easy understand what's happening in the system you'll create like more critical and um, more critical dashboards. So to see this particular events that happen inside your network and identify it faster and address those um, particular attacks or events that happen, incidents that happen inside the network and take action on it. So most of the SACA analysts will use 
that visualization to help themselves faster identify any um, incidents that happens in the network. So thank you for joining.